I started out by eating my breakfast. Hello, welcome to day 16 of Ramadan. Wow. <laughs> so welcome to today's vlog. Um, it's around 3 o'clock now, so I'm going to start cooking. I wash the beans and soak the beans and blend the beans and do everything about the moi moi. Let me show you a little bit of that. I'm going to show you the raw unwashed one and this is the raw unwashed one and this one is the washed one so i'm going to add it to the blender then i'll add my bell peppers and scotch bonnet to it add water and blend everything together i also added my crayfish crayfish is optional if you want it so if you don't want it don't add it Then I'll transfer everything to a bowl. I'll add my seasonings to it. I'll add my palm oil. You can use palm oil or vegetable oil, anyone or olive oil, anyone you prefer. I also add my, add my pounded garlic to it and my chopped onions and mix everything together. Then I put everything together in a white nylon and tie it then i'm going to cook it like that i'm going to cook it or steam it like that if you have a steamer you can also use that to steam the moi moi with it I poke a hole in each of the nylon and cover it and allow it to boil or cook. So yeah, now about today's menu, we are going to make semovita or semolina, tuon semovita, that's what we call it. Then nyong kutbiwa, that's okra soup, okra draw soup, then moi moi, then kununzanya or you can call it tamarind pap or pudding or anyone anyone you might prefer then i don't know anything about any side dishes apart from moi moi so if i know i will update you later about that so come along i will start cooking now and do other things so keep up with me and enjoy then in a separate plate i grated my raw okra i'm using a grater you can use any grater you want to grate it you're going to grate it or pound it in a pestle or mortar or blend it anywhere you prefer blend it with a little bit of water but you cut it into smaller size then blend it with a little bit of water and that's that you keep it aside until when you're ready to use it as you will see very soon yeah i'm about to fade away because every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't then i'm going to pound my locust beans that's my spices ginger powder and my scotch bonnet and bell peppers so i'm going to pound my locust beans first then i'll put it back to the plate then i'll pound my bell pepper and scotch bonnet and um onions and garlic i'll pound everything together as you can see Then I'm going to boil my yam. I already salted it with what with salt and I added it to the fire. Then I move back to making my um, stock for the mion cooker or okra soup. I added my meat, my spices, my uh, ginger and doko beans, then my pepper mix and mix everything. Then I added my stock fish. Stock fish is also optional if you don't want stock fish stockfish i will look for the photo and insert it somewhere 
um, then I added my red oil I also added my crayfish dried crayfish is also optional then I added my seasonings and salt and cover everything so that it will cook faster I'm using my pressure pot because I want it to cook fast then I'll cover everything and allow it to boil until it's done I want to update you about the side dish. We are doing golden yam. Um, now I'm about to eat my lunch. I'm at 4 o'clock now. So <laughs> that's real life. Um, that's that. I went to check on the yam is not done so I cover it. I will, then I'll move to chopping my cow skin. This is called pomo or cow skin or ganda. The process of making this to turn it into this, a cow skin will be peeled roasted with fire on a campfire then will be boiled and turned into this i will chop it into, into, into cubes then add it to my soup my soup stock or soup water i don't know what to call it then i will stir it and allow it to continue cooking for additional 10 minutes then i will add in my kanwa or potash to it then i will whisk it I whisk in my grated okra to the soup if that makes sense I whisk everything together then allow it to cook for two minutes it will draw you can add as much as the okra as you want then cover don't cover it but allow it just to cook open for two minutes and turn off the fire is done already i did not allow it to cook because i want to preserve the nutrients so now i'll move to making my semolina i'm going to use a whisk and whisk everything together so that I, I i want to avoid lumps that's why i'm using a whisk it's another hack for cooking semolina if you don't want to see the lumps inside if you are gluten free you can use barley you can cook barley over cook it then whisk everything together until it's mushy or you can cook brown rice you overcook the brown rice and mash everything together that's your tool that's your um swallow you can use it as a swallow or cassava or you can pound you can use pounded yam also you can eat pounded yam with this soup if you are gluten free because some molina contain gluten so if you don't like on a gluten-free diet you can use other alternatives that i mentioned i pack the my tool is done steaming so i pack everything and cover it and kept it aside then also we make the gunun zamiya that's that you can check my previous video for the recipe and steps on how to make it then I move to making my golden yam. Golden yam. I break my eggs, add spices, add seasonings, and whisk everything together. I will add in the yam in my whisk egg. Then I will coat it with the egg and add it to the hot oil. Cook it brown on both sides. If it is brown on both sides, then it's done. Then you will strain it like pack it in a plate and serve hot You cook it brown, golden brown on both sides. Then I show you the final product of the yam and the okra soup. See everything so beautiful and it looks delicious also. Then I move to removing the feathers of my chicken the feathering a chicken 
I will add hot water to the chicken, not hot boiling water, just hot water. Then I will start removing the feathers. I will big, I will remove the big big feathers. Then I will slowly start removing the small feathers. After I finish removing everything, then I'll start dissecting the chicken, cutting it into smaller pieces. I remove the esophagus first, the esophagus of the chicken. Then I remove the head. I also remove the chicken wings. Then I remove the chicken lab and feet. I separate everything. Then I as you can see what I'm doing <laughs> then I also um, cut the chicken um, separate the chicken breast from the chicken stomach if that makes sense <laughs> then I'll cut everything together I'll cut each and every piece you do it like this then you remove the chicken intestines carefully because you don't there's something that is bitter in the chicken intestines you don't want it to burst that green thing as you can see you don't want it to burst because it should spoil the meat seeds something green that's what i was talking about then i remove the bottom that's the bottom of the chicken the butt of the chicken then I will separate the chicken ribs with the chicken breast. Then I will cut the chicken breast also into two pieces, my to into desirable shapes. You can check, you can you can cut it into desirable shape or desirable size you want it to be. I separated the chicken laugh from the chicken feet then I pack everything together in a bowl then I transfer it again into my chopping board then I move it to my sink and wash everything and strain it with a strainer and that's that I am done with everything I'll go and take a shower I'm so exhausted it's half is half past nine so yeah I'll go and shower and eat my dinner I ate my dinner, that's Tuon Samolina and Mian Kwebewa. So I took a shower, I changed my clothes, I ate my dinner, I relaxed. <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry, today's video was all over the place and was not detailed enough. So sorry, so sorry for that. If you enjoy watching this video, please like comment and subscribe to the channel i will see you tomorrow bye bye